everyone, I'm Stuart A. Swordlow for Expansions.com and this is my news for the last week of July 2011. Of course, the biggest news that we've experienced this month is the tragic shootings and bombings in Oslo and the island off the coast of uh, Norway where the political party was having a uh, uh, camp for their uh, younger people. The person who, uh, who was accused and admitted uh, performing those uh, acts was a Norwegian, 32 years old, by the name of Anders Brevik, and he wrote a 1,500-page manifesto uh, describing uh, what he had in mind for Europe as uh, a uh, revolution against the Muslim invasion of Europe, uh, which he feels will end in the year 2083. I actually had someone in Europe send me uh, the uh, document, all 1,500 pages, which I've downloaded, and I'm in the process of reading through at the moment, and of course, 1,500 pages is going to take some time. Interesting that originally the news came out that 93 people were killed uh, in the bombing and the shootings, and that uh, they said four more people were actually missing. Now it comes out that the numbers were wrong altogether, and that there were only 76 total people killed. Now that's interesting, because when you take 7 and 6, it equals 13, and you know what that means for Illuminati uh, numerology, and numerology in general. It's a number of totality uh, and, a, and a master number for uh, all kinds of magical works and God mind number. So there's a reason why they downgraded to 76, uh, these, uh, this person claims to be working with at least two separate uh, terrorist groups in Norway. If you remember, I had said weeks and weeks ago to expect attacks in North America and Europe in places that you would never have suspected they would have occurred. And of course, Norway being calm and peaceful all the time, no one ever would have uh, imagined that such a crime of this magnitude would be uh, committed there. Interesting that on that little island, Utoya, I believe is the name of it, just a week before the shooting, there was an anti-Israel rally by these political groups uh, where they uh, were very much against what Israel was doing. And so isn't it curious that the person who committed uh, these crimes is virulently anti-Muslim uh, and is considered to be fundamentalist in his Christian beliefs. So I think we're going to find, as we delve more into the background of this person and perhaps who is supporting him, that he will be a mind control programmed um, vigilante, perhaps by British intelligence and the Mossad, um, in order to punish Norway. Now, in addition to all of this, we have to remember, Norway is one of the few, maybe the only, oil-rich countries in Europe. It refuses to join the EU just like Switzerland does. So, here we have an EU, almost bankrupt, with Greece, Italy, Portugal, and Ireland in dire straits financially. Norway refuses to join. Well, if we break their backs and make them join and show the Norwegian people that they're just as vulnerable as everyone else in Europe, then perhaps they can be pulled into the EU uh, in a very strong-handed way, just as the EU has done to Iceland by breaking the Icelandic economy and giving them no choice but to be drawn into the EU sphere of influence. And in those lines, as I've written on my site, expansions.com, you will see that I also believe Switzerland will be a target, if not soon, then in the very near future, of uh, such attacks, because Switzerland is sitting on everybody's money, also refusing to join the EU, and most of the EU countries don't like Switzerland, and most, uh, especially the Germans and, the, and uh, some of the other countries. So I think we're going to see some uh, events happening in uh, Switzerland very soon as well. Uh, as I get more information on this, I will be revealing it to you. But there's a lot more to this story than meets the eye. Also keep in mind that shortly after this happened, we had the death of Amy Winehouse in London 
27 years old, uh, 2 and 7 equals 9, end of a cycle. She was also a mysterious death. Despite being a drug addict, an alcoholic, uh, she was checked by a doctor the night before, found to be in actually very good health with nothing wrong with her. When she was found in her bed, uh, she apparently had no drug paraphernalia or anything around her that would have uh, indicated she had an overdose. So it's a mystery also of what she died of. But that's the second uh, ritual sacrifice in Europe. There will be a third. If there's two, there'll be three. And that could happen at any moment. So, until next time, this is Stuart A. Swordlow for Expansions.com.